Hello friends. Today I am back with yet another topic that is irritable bowel syndromes and what are the signs and symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome affects between 6 to 18 percent of the people worldwide. This condition involves changes in frequency or form of the bowel movements and lower abdominal pain. Diet, stress, poor sleep and changes in gut bacteria may all trigger these symptoms. However, triggers are different for each person making it difficult to name specific foods or stressors that everyone with the disorder should avoid. This article will discuss the most common symptoms of IBS and what to do. Pains and cramping. Abdominal pain is the most common symptoms and a key factors in diagnosis. Normally your gut and brain work together to control digestion. This happens via hormones, nerves and signals released by the good bacteria that live in your gut. In IBS, these cooperative signals become distorted leading to uncoordinated and painful tension in the muscles of the digestive tract. This pain usually occurs in the lower abdomen or the entire abdomen but is less likely to be in the upper abdomen alone. Pain typically decreases following a bowel movement. Diet modifications such as diet low in food maps may improve pain and other symptoms. Other treatments include bowel relax reluctance like peppermint oil, cognitive behavior therapy and hypnotherapy. For pain that doesn't respond to these changes, a gastroenterologist can help you find a medication specifically proven to ease an IBS pain. Diarrhea Diarrhea predominant IBS is one of the three main types of the disorder. It affects roughly one third of the patients with IBS. A study of 200 adults found that those with diarrhea predominant IBS had on average 12 bowel movements weekly, more than twice the amounts of adult without IBS. Accelerated bowel transit in IBS can also result in sudden immediate urge to have a bowel movement. Some patients decrease this as a significant source of stress, even avoiding some social situations for a fear of a sudden onset of diarrhea. Additionally, stool in the diarrhea predominant types tends to be loose, watery and may contain mucus, constipation, although it seems counterintuitive. IBS can cause constipation as well as diarrhea. Constipation predominant IBS is most common type affecting nearly 50% people with IBS. Altered communication between the brain and bowel may speed up or slow down the normal transit time of stool. When transit time slows, the bowel absorbs more water from the stool and it becomes more difficult to pass. Constipation is defined as having fewer than 3 bowel movements per week. Functional constipation describes chronic constipation not explained by another disease. It is not related to IBS and is very common. Functional constipation differs from IBS in that it is generally not painful. In contrast, constipation in IBS includes abdominal pain that eases with bowel movement. Constipation in IBS also often causes a sensation of an incomplete bowel movement. This leads to unnecessary straining. Along with unusual treatments for IBS, exercise, drinking more water, eating soluble fiber, taking probiotics and limited use of laxatives may help. Alternative constipation and diarrhea. Mixed or alternating constipation and diarrhea affects about 20% of IBS. Diarrhea and constipation in IBS involves chronic recurring abdominal pain. Pain is the most common clue that changes in the bowel movement are not related to diet or common mild infections. This type of IBS to be more severe than the others with more frequent and intense symptoms. The symptoms of mixed IBS also vary from person to person. Therefore, this condition requires an individualized treatment approach rather than one size fits all recommendation. Changes in bowel movement. Slow moving stool in the intestine often becomes dehydrated as the intestine absorbs water. In turn, this creates a hard stool which can exaggerate uh, symptoms of constipation. Prompt movement of stool through the intestine leaves little time for absorption of water and results in the loose stool's characteristics of diarrhea. IBS can also cause mucus to accumulate in stool which is not usually associated with other causes of constipation. Blood in stool may be sign of another potentially serious medical conditions deserves a visit to your doctor. Blood in stool may appear red but 
often appears very dark or black with a tarry consistency. Gas and blotting altered digestion in IBS leads to more gas production in the gut. This causes blotting which is uncomfortable. Many with IBS identify blotting as one of the most persistent and nagging symptoms of the disorder. In a study of 337 IBS patients, 83% reported blotting and cramping. Both symptoms are more common in women and in constipation predominant IBS or mixed type of IBS. Avoid lactose and other food maps that can reduce that reduces blotting. Food tolerance. Food intolerance. Up to 70% of individuals with IBS report that particular foods trigger symptoms. Two thirds of the people with IBS actively avoid certain foods. Sometimes these individuals exclude multiple foods from the diet. Why these foods trigger symptom is unclear. These food intolerances are not allergies trigger and trigger food don't cause measurable differences in digestion. While trigger foods are different for everyone, some common one includes gas producing foods such as FODMAPs as well as lactose and gluten. Fatigue and difficulty sleeping over half of the IBS people with IBS report. In one study, 160 adults diagnosed with IBS described low stamina that limited physical exertion in work, leisure, and social interactions. Another study of 85 adults found that intensity of their symptoms predicted severity of fatigue. IBS is also related to insomnia, which includes difficulty sleeping, walking frequently, and feeling unrested in the morning. In a study of 112 adults with IBS, 13% reported poor sleep quality. Another study of 50 men and women found that those with IBS slept about an hour longer yet felt less refreshed in the morning than those without IBS. Interestingly, poor sleep predicts more severe gastrointestinal symptoms the following day. Anxiety and depression. IBS is linked to anxiety and depression as well. It's unclear whether IBS symptoms are an expression of mental stress or whether the stress of living with IBS makes people more prone to psychological difficulties. Whichever comes first, anxiety and digestive IBS symptoms reinforce one another in a vicious cycle. In a large study of 94,000 men and women, people with IBS were over 50% more likely to have an anxiety disorder and over 70% more likely to have a mood disorder such as depression. Another study compared levels of stress hormone cortisol in patients with and without IBS. Given a public speaking task, those with IBS experienced greater changes in cortisol, suggesting greater stress levels. Additionally, another study found that anxiety reduction therapy reduced stress and IBS symptoms. Summary, IBS can produce a vicious cycle of digestive symptoms, symptoms that increase anxiety and anxiety that increases digestive symptoms. Tackling anxiety can help reduce other symptoms. What to do if you think you have an IBS? If you have symptoms of IBS that interfere with your quality of life, visit your doctor who can diagnose IBS and rule out other diseases that mimic it. IBS is diagnosed by recurrent abdominal pain for at least 6 months combined with weekly pain for 3 months as well as some combination of pain relieved by bowel movements and changes in frequency or form of bowel movements. Your doctor may refer to you as gastro gastroenterologist, a specialist in digestive disease who can help you identify trigger and discuss ways to control it. Lifestyle changes such as Stress relief exercise, drinking plenty of water and over-the-counter laxatives can also help. Interestingly, a low FODMAPs diet is one of the most promising lifestyle changes for alleviating symptoms. Identifying other trigger foods can be difficult as they are dif different for each person. Keeping a diary of meals and in ingredients can help identify triggers. Probiotic supplements may also reduce symptoms. Additionally, avoiding digestive stimulants such as caffeine, alcohol, and sugary beverages can reduce symptoms in some people. If your symptoms don't respond to lifestyle changes or over-the-counter treatment, there are several medications proven to help in difficult cases. If you think you have an IVS, consider keeping a journal of food and symptoms. Then take this information to your doctor to help diagnose the condition so that's what I thought of uh, sharing with you guys actually irritable bowel syndrome makes many people too much depressed and very much uh, 
दिस पीपल सफर फ्रॉम गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइन प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑल सो होप दिस वीडियो यू पीपल हैव लाइक एंड प्लीज पुट थम्स अप एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल इफ यू लाइक दिस दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू